Hello, this is Easy, and welcome to this tutorial about poly painting. We're going to do a thing that we call swapping out colors. Uh, example is uh, if I was poly, poly painting this nose, let's say red, and I decide later I want to paint exactly in the same area with a different color. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that by swapping out colors in this specific area. And I'm going to have a little plug-in that you can download, and it'll be below the video. So we're going to set this up um, for poly painting, and to make it correct, we're going to have to uh, have this pure white, okay, RGB 255255255. Then we're going to, you know, make sure our RGB is on, and color, and we can fill object. And we also got this option over here to use the paint icon to go in poly paint mode. Another thing is we're painting with just color, so RGB's on and that's off. Another thing is um, we're going to need quite a bit of geometry. I only got it to four right now because if I add any more, it's going to slow down the video tutorial um, or my screen recording. And the next thing is when we go down to the UV map, we're going to need to increase the map size. All right. So uh, we're going to turn this to 2048. And when we do, this automatically comes to 2048. That way, when uh, the script creates a new texture map, it'll create one at 2048 by 2048. Now, when you download this script, you can either load it through the Z script and load. This is not a plugin because this plugin, this plugin folder, I'm sure a lot of people are getting um, quite full in this area. Well, I got this in my light box. You can put it in light box or any folder you want. And I have it inside my easy rope folder. If I hold alt key and double click this folder, we can open that folder up. And this is what you'll see in here or if you want to move it to a different folder. Um, by default, you don't have the easy rope. You might have to download that one if you want to use it. But I got it stored in here. And if I double click here to open this up, and you can see it right here. And I'm going to double click this right here. And then I'm going to open the tutorial window down here at the bottom, and then I'm going to get this right here. So we're going to start poly painting, and I want to start with, let's say, a green. Let's go ahead and turn on the draw size just a little bit. And we'll do a green here. And maybe a red here. Then when we're done, we're going to press convert poly paint to mask. When we do that, we're going to click this. Then this is actually a mask. So um, I may want to swap colors. So I might want to uh, just even change colors. So I could maybe turn this to a blue. And I'm going to drag on this. And I'm going to drag, and it's only going to put the paint where, because it's masked right now. If I drag up by the ears, it's not going to go up there. If I do it, drag down by the chin, it's not going to go down there. And here's my new texture right here. And it's 2048 by 2048. Um, now I need to press this button again and to convert this back into a texture. As you can see, there's no blue in this texture, so we're going to press here, and it's going to remove the mask, and it's going to create a texture. And now you can see the blue over here. So uh, if I was to press this again, it's going to mask the poly paint. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can come up to the masking, and you can sharpen the mask. When you do this, this is optional. It's going to make it a little bit tighter, and I can go with a red here. And we'll just close this up. As you can see, there's no red on the texture map until I press the button again. And you see the red. And it's this kind of swaps on and off about masking and unmasking so we're going to press the button again let's say that I want to do all of them one certain color like this little uh, color right here well, I can just go up to color and fill object it's a little uh, 
dim. If I keep on clicking this to fill object, you can see it'll get darker and darker. And we get something like that. Very simple. And there's our new texture map. But anyway, uh, this is a very simple script. Like I said, you can change everything or maybe just one item. Let's do this one more time. And I'm going to turn off the X Cemetery. And I'm just going to do one up here. see there's no red over here and press it one more time there's a new texture map I had paused the video and I kind of wanted to go over one more thing before I finished up here and basically um, what I'll do is I'll draw another color up here and kind of explain something really quick and we're going to press this button down here there's our new mask there's our new texture now when I this is an inverted mask here and when you go to the masking here and you uh, sharpen this and sharpen again now sometimes when you're using the sharpen and sometimes when you're not and you're getting color you'll get this little outer ring sometimes when you're switching back and forth and that's something you may need to be aware about so if I just paint it like this and we'll create it like this and you can kind of see I'm getting that outer ring I'm gonna click it again and this time um, now I'm building the paint up there on the outer ring because I'm not using any sharp mass it's kind of blurring in and you can see how that works all right I pause the video one more time um, for this little demonstration I did kick up the geometry and we're still going to create one at 2048 by 2048 um, this time we're going to use this uh, star right here and we'll use a drag wreck and bring it out like this and we're going to press the poly paint mask here and you can see right there that it's uh, the masking is on and um, if I want to paint just in that area we'll switch all this back and we'll switch to a different color like red and when I drag in here you can see I'm painting just right on the star even if I drag up in the eyes it's or the ears or wherever we're, it's just going to paint on the star and when we get done we're going to press it again and then it's right in that area now you can see it created the texture at 2048 by 2048 even though that it creates texture, we're always in polypaint mode. 